Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Mr. Fork, and welcome back to what may well be the final episode of CrossCode. So, I already made my save file, it's time to go talk to Mr. Satoshi. Well, the last episode of the official run, I might do some post-game content, some things that I might just upload, like random things that I might do. But, for now, we can assume that once this ends, it's the end until we get any further updates in DLC. Which I heard they're working on, if I'm not wrong. So, when that does come out, again, talk for when the game ends, but I will definitely do it. But as of now, this is my focus. Let's do this. Satoshi! Hello, again, Leah. Do you think you are prepared to execute the plan? Mind that once we start, things will have to move quickly. So are you ready? No! All right, talk to me when the time comes. Wait, we should probably just save here. Like, that was stupid of me. I just save here. <laughs> Do you think? Yes. All right, then. Let's get everyone together. Okay, where to start? I looked a bit more into the techni side, technical side of things. The avatar server is most likely derived from the old version of the official game servers. That means it should be vulnerable to a certain DOS attack we experienced in the past. Oh, using the hit stun overflow issue? Correct. Now please for us, uh, now please for us, come and focus too. Well, in other words, there is a way to make this avatar server crash. Crash very, very badly. Once it happens, said well, we'll have to a hard time restarting it. Thus, the server will not respond to anything, including query uh, qu queries, to wipe the data. That will give us enough time for Leah to reach it physically. That sounds very promising. So, how exactly will it work? How do we make it crash? The keys are running the avatars. The keys are the avatars running around Vermilion Wasteland. We need this to subject them to a certain type of field effect, as many and as quickly as possible. If we succeed, things should overflow on the server, making it crash. However, for this to work, we will need a lot more players to participate. That's why I plan to involve a few other players, specifically those Leah has met before, involving other players. I suppose it's a risk we have to take. I currently see no other options, unfortunately. So what about me? I can't enter the official playground, but I can move around Vermilion Wasteland. Should I help? Hmm. <laughs> I think it would be better if you avoid logging into the game while we storm the avatar ground. Since Sidwell is aware of your current location outside the game, you need to be quickly relocated. Otherwise, things will end with him taking you hostage. Right. There's the real life side of things as well. One last thing, did you manage to talk to Go with Gotham? I tried. He has been acting very strange. Even more strange than usual, and that's saying a lot. Once I mentioned Leah, he started raving about how she managed to, es to escape his dungeon tower. I guess you really left an impact. Anyway, I decided I'd better not tell him too much. Really, he's be uh, pretty much turned into a nutcase by now. That is worrisome. We will see if we can drag him out somehow. I know a few people from the maintenance crew that might be able to help us with this. Good. Then how do we proceed? For now, we should call it a day. As soon as I have everything prepared, Leah and I will try to gather the other players. And once we have the help, we, need to, uh, we start with the plan as soon as possible. Alright, let's give it our best shot. That we, that we will. See you soon. Good night. Wow. So one last dream. Yeah. What? Are we going to go to... Um, Leah, should we log out now? Oh, she wants to go to sleep under the tree. He seems to like this place. Well, are you nervous? Same for me, really. This plan is very risky. There are so many things that could potentially go wrong. Um, sorry. Building confidence is not exactly my strong suit. You might see view. He's all anxious and fidgety. <laughs> By now, you probably already guessed it, but I plan to involve the other First Scholar members. We will need their help to properly execute the plan. That also means I have to explain the full situation to them and tell them about you. I understand that you are nervous about this, but there really is no way around it. And I am pretty positive they will understand. Trust me on that. You are no stranger to them anymore. Also, here's something I should have said a long time ago. Thank you, Leah. We had such a long journey together. You went through such a number of hardships and you always kept going. 
Really, I could not have imagined a better partner. So what about now? Ready to log out? Good night, Leah. Oh my god! And our last dream? Vermilion Wasteland. That would be Gotham, right? And the guy? She responds. Never mind. Good morning. <clears throat> she looks scared. Well, it might be due to your appearance. I suppose. One moment then. This should be more casual. Can't you speak? Hmm. That's something we need to look into. But you still seem to understand us, don't you? Interesting. A mute woman that can still listen. How nostalgic. Say, do you remember your name? So, what should we call you then? How about Leah? That monster picked my name? Here are the images of different landscapes. Do you remember what the forest, what forests look like? Well then, can you point at the image showing forests? That's correct. So remember basic concepts pretty well already. So what about yesterday's sign? Can you still do it? You forgot already. Oh dear. Is there any sign you remember? Well, that's something. It's pl pretty clear now that it's not just your speech that's missing. Writing things down doesn't work. And we only get so far with hand signs. That's why we never could. It's like you're missing the ability to recall words or any abstract concept. Leah, it's okay. Please don't feel bad about this. At risk of sounding like a Tron here, then why does she understand words? Uh, <laughs> no, that's not Gotham. Oh, okay. I remember being, uh, brown. <laughs> brown, fat, dirty. Brown yeah. Um, no, no. Brown this hair. guy is the one that that did the deals. Mm -hmm. That allowed them to work with the avatars in the first hand. Oh, this is the evil guy. This is the evil guy. Hello, Leah. <clears throat> always the same. Isn't it funny how it always goes the same way? All the support I gave them, all the things I did. It suddenly doesn't matter. Just because of conflicting ideals. And all at once, things have to go hostile. Sorry, this really shouldn't concern you. Terrible things, having fond memories of our, of our villain. So, any more hand signs you remember? That's how we learned how to count. Alright, so you can still count. That is something you picked up rather quickly. Oh, back to trying this again? <laughs> don't worry. She's trying to do the thing. You won't need this for any signs. What is it? Do you want me to tell you about her? Well... We met through work several years ago. She was competent, hardworking, mute, but that didn't stop her from doing her job. We communicated via writing at first, then I learned sign language. But even then, she never was much of a talker, just very, very good at listening. My job was all about having good relationships. I've met so many people always busy keeping up connections, yet it was always also very shallow. With her, it was different. She was one of the few people I could speak openly to. It's similar with you. I suppose I just get along well with mute people. So what? We're just humans. The world's most self-absorbed creature. We really like to think highly of ourselves, and sure, we certainly came and went far. But in the end, we are just another kind of creature lost in this vast universe. Leah, do you remember what clear sky looks at, like at night? Out in the countryside, no town or city nearby. I hope one day you will. It is like a boundless sea of stars. When you see it, you start to ri realize just how insignificant we are to this world. Sounds to me like the guy is trying to revive someone through avatars. Which again is bringing another controversial thing where we have to side with the villain in this side. This is. It is done. My final creation. Time to put an end to this. All of this. 
Oh god, what did you do, Gotham? Good morning, Leah. Did you sleep well? Well then, time to get everyone together. I am happy you asked. I worked really hard and, a and I managed to add a couple of, of more words to your vocabulary. Woo! I love new words! Meet! I'm sure that will help getting everyone together. Okay, together, correct? Meet Leah! Exactly. But wait, there's more. Thanks! Woo! You're very welcome. Well then, let us call the others. The goal is to get everyone to assemble the meeting room at the First Scholar Headquarters. Let us move there first, shall we? <laughs> of course nobody's here. That would have been too easy. <laughs> well then, let us try to contact everyone via D-Link. Time to use your new vocabulary. Oh, when Julia, it's good to see you. Uh, to see, still see you in game in the game. Charlie has been flying for several days now. I suppose he's gone for good. He didn't even say goodbye to Dork. Oh well. So what's up? Shall we start a party? Meet. Pardon. Meet Leah. Um, you want to meet? Where should we meet? Leah, wait. <laughs> oh, you'll wait uh, uh, to meet at your current location. Well then, let me check. Ah, you're at the headquarters. I'll be right there. You're surprisingly talkative today, Sherry. See you soon. My god, she's right. We are actually saying a lot of things. Hey, that worked better than I expected. Lucas. Oh, hello, Leah. Sorry, huh? Leah, sorry. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, you mean about what happened before. Leah, it was just a hug. Don't worry about it. It wasn't even that strong. No broken spine. All good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, it's all yesterday's snow to me. Um, what now again? Meet Leah. Um, I don't know, don't you think this is a bit too soon? Just one hug and now you want to meet me privately in there? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm sorry, do you want to have a meeting with all the first scholar members? Alright, I can get everyone together if you like. No worries, give me a moment, I'll be right back. Oh, were they upstairs? I'm going to be so upset. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Schneider, <laughs> Schneider helping out will make this easy, a lot easier. Well, then next, let us call Apollo and Jorn. Oh, we need all the help we can get, Leah. Hello, Leah. Spheromancer Leah, it's good to see you. Leah, meet. Excuse me. Meet, meet Leah. I think she wants to meet us. So, does this mean you're ready for our next duel? Oh God, no. Huh? What's he playing with? Yeah. Buggy! Oh, look at that. Oh man, Katron's missing. <laughs> this is a very comfy building for an headquarter. For, for an headquarter. For an HQ. I guess it works. I like it. Why, thank you. For an, HQ. for an HQ. So uh, finally I meet the famous grasshead I've heard so much about. The name's Apollo Triblader. By the way, aren't we all just grassheads of different colors? <laughs> You're right. Well, at least I have the color of fresh grass. Yes, but I'm the, uh, I'm the wise grass. Listen to your elder greenhorn. Alright, screw these metaphors. <laughs> Quiet everyone. Let's hear what Leah has to say. Oh god, this would be so awkward. Leah meet? I'm loving it so far. <laughs> Leah, the hologram number. I forgot the hologram number. <laughs> Gotta love <laughs> Puggy too. Hello, everyone. Sakura Blue. My name is Leah. Who is that guy? I was just Emily. Just let him talk. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Sergey Asimov, and I am here to explain Leah's circumstance to you. All of you should be aware of her speech module issues by now. However, there is another aspect of Leah you are probably unaware of. Okay, wasn't the only person to notice that we have a speech problem that is commonly common on, on the game? Katron? What if we're to, not to trust Katron? I mean, right? That he just randomly leave. I don't trust Katron. <laughs> just doubting everyone at this point. Little do I know I'm the one everyone should have been doubting. I'm the AI. 
<laughs> Leah, it's an AI. Her avatar is controlled by an artificial intelligence. What? You're joking. Spheromancer Leah, does this man tell the truth? Sorry. No, wait, it can't be true. You definitely fooled me. So wait, does that mean a bot managed to join our guild? <laughs> this is amazing. Leah, dear, so are you... Are you an NPC? I'm very confused right now. Leah is a regular avatar, controlled by a very special kind of AI. Allow me to start from the beginning. We finally met Satoshi and Shizuka hidden somewhere in Sapphire Ridge. That is how we learned everything and how we uh, we came could come up with a plan. A plan to storm Vermilion Wasteland to reach the avatar server. And that is where we are right now. Damn, what a convoluted situation. Sphere Lance or Lee, I, I don't know how to respond to this. All this tech talk it just went way over my head. But what was this part about punching through dungeon walls that sounded awesome? And still so, so confused. Don't worry, hun. The situation is very peculiar. Okay, now this is where you come in. In order to properly storm Vermilion Wasteland, we need your help. So please, for the sake of Leah and all avatars, can we count on your support? We count me in. Leah is a dear friend to me. She can be an AI, for, uh, an AI or a loaf of baguette for all I care, but she likes baguette. <laughs> of course I'll help her. You're right. Leah isn't a member of this guild and we should support her. I mean, sure, this thing is crazy and starving for middle wasteland might get us in trouble. But how often do you get a chance to break into unfinished game territory, am I right? True words, my dude. This, <laughs> this sounds like a crazy kind of raid. I'm not sure I can approve of all this rule-breaking behavior. However... The way avatars are currently treated is a disgusting display of injustice! By my name and the honor of the Spheromancers, this cannot stand! Seconded. Very true. We first scholars cannot abide such cruelty. Leah, you have our support. Indeed. Also, everyone get down from that table. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Honestly, I never expected this amount of enthusiasm. I'm very glad we have you on our side. Now we just have to find a good time that fits everyone. The sooner the better. It's the weekend and I have time. Let's do it today. Let's. Yes, let's storm Vermilion Wasteland. Sure, today is good. I was planning to do some shopping today. Everyone looks at him. That was a joke. <laughs> Alright, today it is. <laughs> Fantastic. Then let us meet in, a, in about an hour in front of the dojo in Sapphire Ridge. The entrance to Vermilion Wasteland is nearby. Also, before you leave, we should try to establish a direct communication channel. Please give me a moment. Everyone has their own, Sergey. We're all set. Now I can talk directly to all of you. Nice, then I'll quickly optimize my equipment and gather a few items. See you soon. Alrighty, Al and I better prepare as well. See you. Um, Sergey, quick question. You said there was uh, an avatar copy of me in Everground? Avatar Ground? Potentially interrogated? Yes, that is correct. Oh, young. I better log out and quickly change all my credentials. I'll meet you in Sapphire Ridge. Sierra Mansion Leah, we shall prepare as well. We'll show them what it means to deal with the wrath of the Spheromancers. Leah, Sherry. Now I finally understand what's been going on with you. You really must miss him, none. That other Lucas in the Everground. Avatar Ground. Aww. We'll meet him. We'll get him out of there. Promise. Damn it. I'm gonna kick Sidwell's dead again so hard he'll never sit well again. I've <sighs> gotta prepare. I guess that is it. We're all set. Let us meet with everyone else at the dojo in Sapphire Ridge. We had better be prepared as well. That is going to have to be for the next episode. <laughs> yeah, it happened in the middle of cutscenes. And nowhere I could stop it naturally. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.